potentially have water supply uh, via a pipeline that would connect into uh, the city of Woonsocket's uh, treatment system or supply system. And you know, simultaneous with that event or that, uh, that evaluation, we were also looking at ways that we could reduce uh, the water demand that the project had. And uh, you know, that effort you know, took, took a little bit of time. And then recently, you know, we were able to come to the conclusion that we believe that we were able to get our water uh, demand down to the point where uh, you know, it may be feasible to have it delivered by truck. Uh, so what we're looking at is uh, a water demand that would be able to be serviced on a typical day you know, from uh, either two or three truckloads of water uh, per day. And our proposal would be that we would construct a, a garage or a building you know, in the city of Woonsocket that would house the, the, the one or two trucks that we would have uh, for that. And they would you know, fill up those trucks within Woonsocket. They would travel to the site and, and uh, fill up the on-site storage tanks. Uh, the amount of water that we're looking at really is just a small percentage of the total available capacity that Woonsocket has. Uh, you know, the Woonsocket uh, supply system, as I'm sure many of you know, uh, has, a, uh, has a capacity of about 7 million gallons per day. Uh, and the city is currently undertaking uh, an effort to, to modernize the uh, water supply treatment system. So when we, we looked at the system in terms of its overall capacity and what our needs are, uh, essentially, what we're looking at is something that's less than 1% of uh, the city's average daily capability. The value, we put together a value package uh, to the city you know, that, in essence, totals $18 million. That, that would make Invenergy the fourth highest taxpayer in the city. The, the, the amount of payments are approximately $700,000 per year, and that breaks down into a, uh, a contribution that could be used by the city at $500,000 a year that would escalate over the 20 years at a 3% uh, escalation rate. And then uh, another $200,000, which would be uh, allocated toward a pilot that would uh, be for the, uh, the building that would house the trucks. That pilot agreement would also be for 20 years. In addition, there would be a million dollar contribution that would be payable to Woonsocket over five years uh, for them to use, uh, you know, for youth or scholarship programs as they desire. And then on top of that, we would be paying whatever the prevailing rate is uh, for the water that we would use. It may be kind of hard to see the, the chart here at the back of the room, but essentially you can see the, the three uh, Categories that I just broke down, we have the, the $500,000 payment that totals uh, Yeah, 13.4 million and then the pilot uh, Payments for the building is on the 4 million and then we have a $1 million uh, scholarship uh, contribution to bringing the total to 18.4 uh, million You know, really just I think the points that the key points that we wanted to make tonight is that the the offer is is that uh, you know Woonsocket certainly has enough water capacity to, to meet the needs that we're looking for. Uh, Invenergy would become you know one of the largest uh, property taxpayers uh, and will have you know really minimal impact on city services and you know the payments that uh, the project would be making to the city total more than 18 million dollars over 20 years. And that, the presentation.